It's mentioned as head and shoulders amongst peers internationally. Uh, recently, the last two years in a row, we've won medals. But Moonlight Meadery hasn't avoided fallout from the $34 billion trade war between the U.S. and China. So this uh, orange blossom traditional mead. The brewery had agreed to ship 100,000 bottles a year to China. After buying the materials and hiring additional help, tariffs killed the deal. So that 16% increase in cost was nothing that I could take the show on my shoulders or my uh, exporter could take on his shoulders. Costs that forced him to sell his house and fire five employees, including his wife. It was um, the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life, and it's still pretty painful and pretty hard to even think about. Senator Gene Shaheen says the tariffs, especially on steel and aluminum, could result in 1,900 net job losses in New Hampshire. Last year we had more exports than ever in New Hampshire's history. The senator does agree with President Trump that countries take advantage of the U.S. when it comes to trade, but she says there's bipartisan support to find a better solution. We should take them to the WTO, the World Trade Organization. We need to beef up our enforcement um, in a way that allows us to win those cases. What the president is doing is using an ax for something that we really need a scalpel for. Moonlight Meadery hopes there is a better way. Fairbrother says he has precautions in place, but says he and other small businesses are preparing for the worst. The falter deal with China means half their barrels remain empty.